Hi friends! Today I'm going to share with you a story called Number One Sam, which is written and illustrated by Greg Pizzoli, who is a wonderful author and illustrator, and I hope you enjoy the story. Sam was number one. He was number one in speed. He was number one at turns. And he was number one at finishing races in the number one spot. So on the day of the big race, Sam wasn't worried one bit. He pulled up to the start, wished good luck to his best friend, Maggie, revved his engine, and boom, they were off. Sam zoomed up to speed and nailed all the turns. He and Maggie were neck and neck as they headed for the finish line. And then, <gasps> Sam lost. Everyone was cheering for Maggie. Everyone except Sam. Sam couldn't lose. He was the best at speed. He was the best at turns. He was the best at being number one. The night before the next race, Sam didn't sleep one wink. At the starting line, Sam was quiet. The cars lined up, the engines revved. Sam didn't say anything to Maggie. He was too nervous. In fact, he was so distracted, he missed the starting flag. Maggie and the other racers had a huge lead, but Sam quickly gained on them. He was driving his best and soon passed to the front. Sam would be number one again. But then he saw them. Five chicks crossing the track. He was headed right for them. Sam could steer around the chicks, but would the other racers see them in time? Screech! Sam slammed on his brakes. He scurried the chicks to safety as the other racers flew by. Sam finished in last place, the chicks thanking him the whole way. You are my idol. Could you slow down? Uh, I have to make a pit stop. <laughs> Sam was disappointed. As he approached the finish line, he heard people cheering for the other racers. But as he got closer, he realized they were cheering for him. And even though he lost another race, his friends still thought he was number one. The end. I really enjoy this story because it's nice to come in first, but it's more important to be a good friend. And I think it's really nice how Sam stopped what he was doing to save those chicks. Oh my goodness, they could have been really badly hurt. Thanks for joining me again for Bedtime or Anytime Stories with Miss Kate. If you enjoyed it, please click subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.